Hello all. <sighs> so I'm just here in the woods today in San Francisco. I'm noticing something I don't like. Let me show you what it is. Does that mean they're going to be cutting out trees? Or does it mean getting rid of the forest altogether and putting in houses? They've wanted this land forever here in San Francisco. Anything that's like green belt or parkland, of course, the greedy want it for themselves and think they own it because they have money. Here's another one. Sort of like an August morning again. Semi-foggy, semi... Just gray. Typical San Francisco. All right, we haven't done a Yellowstone volcano update in a while, and there are some changes happening in Yellowstone. So much of the Yellowstone Park and outside of the park is measured through different uh, instruments on how high and low the ground falls and rises, which is so typical of Yellowstone. It has subsidence and it also rises off and on throughout the years. But lately, in the, in the Nora's Geyser, Geyser Basin, they're, they're seeing uplift. Well, the entire rest of the park isn't seeing anything at all, but either staying the same or lower. How much is the, uh, is the uplift? Well, they're saying a few centimeters. What's that, about an eighth to a little bit more than that, three sixteenths of an inch? That's per year. So, in other words, it, uh, it's rising. And they're saying it's rising because of steam. But the interesting thing is, there's a geyser there called Steamboat Geyser. This geyser is starting to erupt regularly. Now, it's gone for 20, 30 years without any eruptions at all. But lately, it has adjusted. In fact, it erupted so violently that it spewed out all this garbage that was inside of it, going all the way back to the 1800s. Because it's in a geyser basin, it uh, preserves it perfectly. There's nothing can really live in that and break that uh, material down. So the steamboat geyser has gone off seven times just in September alone. There have been new springs and small geysers that have cropped up in that same area where they've never seen any before. And also the water temperature is rising slightly, less than a degree, but it's more than normal. So the biggest earthquakes in the uh, Yellowstone area was a 2.5. Lately, there's been almost no earthquakes at all. The cause they say is because of the drought and seasonal changes. In other words, there's been nothing but dry, dry weather there. And so all the underground water has been pretty much used up. But lately they've been getting quite a bit of rain and all that rain has now seeped down and is now causing uplifts in the Nora's geyser basin is what they're telling us. They're saying that if there was magma uh, rising, you'd see far more earthquakes, but there just aren't any. So that's your Yellowstone update. So, we'll just keep this video a little bit short today. And I definitely do appreciate all the comments. Every time I comment, I can't see your comments. So that's why I don't comment too much. Once I put a comment on, all your comments disappear for me. But you go ahead and put your comments on there anyway. I certainly do appreciate it. I appreciate your ups and downs and the new subscribers. And until next time.